Tommy Hill, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to Tuesday. It is an awesome day today. Why? Because we are looking at Romans 7. 7. Um, <laughs> I just want to encourage you guys today. I really want to encourage you guys today because Romans 7 is such a, a gospel-filled chapter. It is talking about how we've been released from the law and how we are now called to live by faith. A spectacular, spectacular chapter. Really, uh, it's it's incredible. And I really want, I would really want to encourage you guys today, meditate on this chapter. Meditate on this chapter. You know, the, the Bible doesn't actually say too much about reading the Bible. What it talks about is about meditating on the scriptures. I really want to encourage you guys, do that today. Really meditate on Romans 7, what it means. Maybe pick a few verses to sort of just repeat over and over your head as you go to work or to school or whatever, you, as you go throughout what your day to day. Just put those two or three verses or one verse maybe uh, that just really jumps out at you and repeat it in your head. Meditate it on your Put it, put scripture on your heart, meditate on it day and night. It is amazing. But the few verses that are really, really, really speak to me, <laughs> they really speak to me. <laughs> they, they, mentally, it's incredible. And, and hopefully they speak to every Christian to a degree. Um, and, and these are our verses, verses 14 to verse uh verse 20 verse 14 to verse 20 so six verses i'm going to read them out and then we're going to jump right in and see uh and sort of i'll explain it as 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 we go along and expound on the scriptures um romans chapter 7 verse 14 for we know that the law is spiritual but i am of the flesh sold under sin man <laughs> the, do you ever feel like you just cannot stop sinning because if you do Paul felt the exact same way the great apostle Paul felt the exact same way for he says I do not understand my own actions I, I do not do what I want to do and I do do what I don't want to do a lot of do's there but what he's saying is I just I don't feel like at times I'm in control. It's like I've been sold to sin and I'm greatly convicted. But here's he goes on to say, now if I do what I do not want, I agree with the law that is good. So now it is no longer I who do it, but the sin that dwells within me. What's he saying here? That's quite a complicated couple of verses. What he's saying here is, if I genuinely want to do good, if I am convicted by the Holy Spirit to the point where I repent and I reject this sinful nature that keeps on popping up, then it's no longer me who's wanting to actively go out and sin. It's no longer me who's actively wanting to go out against and rebel against God. I'm going to, I'm not perfect, but when I do, I can do, uh, I, I, I do it by accident. I, I don't, I, I do it because I, I don't feel, because I'm not perfect, because I have not been made perfect with Christ as of yet. Not until we get to heaven will we be made completely perfect. Will that that sin that dwells within us in verse um that in 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 verse uh verse seventeen that sin that dwells within us will be removed completely and entirely. But until that point, we know that as long as our minds and our eyes are fixed on God. As long as they are fixed on him, we 
can stand with assurance. As long as we are constantly fighting against the sin that does crop up, the sin that does poke its head above the surface. As long as we continue to fight and strive towards perfection. It is until, as long as we continue to do that, we know that we will be walking within the Father's will. So if if you, like, like me, so often feel convicted when you've just messed up again. You've just messed up again. And then you do it again. And you do it again. But you go, why am I sinning? Why is this happening to me? I, 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 I should be a Christian. I should be living in a certain way. We're not bound by the law. We are bound by faith. We are bond servants of Christ. So I encourage you today. Go into the world. Take those convictions. Use those convictions and use them to repent from the sin. Knowing that we are new creations, new creations, that it is no longer us who sins, but sin that dwells within us. God bless you. Hopefully I've explained that in a way that kind of makes sense because it's extremely complicated. It's extremely complicated. It, it, and yeah, maybe I haven't, but I hope that through this video you will have gained some understanding of what i'm trying to say god willing god bless you have a blessed blessed day see you tomorrow